Um, I would like to introduce to you to uh, Dr. Teresa Kaba. I think most of you already know her, but uh, um, she is um, the program manager um, of that program. Again, ICT-based adaptation to climate change in cities. Um, now it's getting better and better after a while. She was um, a knowledge management specialist uh, um, at GIZ's uh, sectoral department. Um, her areas of specialization include ICT for development, urban development, and climate change adaptation and mitigation. To cut it short, she made our meetup here possible. And so I'm really happy that uh, she will give us some insights about her systemic work, and especially with a, with a focus on Peru. Please go ahead here. Go in the middle. Come. Ah, OK. So, uh, my name is Teresa Kerber. I am a program coordinator from the NICE pro, uh, Global Program ACT based adaptation to climate change in cities. Um, do you remember this uh, Netscape, this browser, browser, internet browser, Netscape uh, from 2004? Uh, back there, I was writing my PhD thesis, and one of my professors was writing a, a groundbreaking book on municipal landscape planning uh, through computer-aided uh, project management. Uh, we have come far with technology. The discussion on smart cities is almost as old as this book, so almost 15 years. And according to uh, Boyd Cohen, we uh, already left behind the first generation of smart cities, uh, the, the technology-driven uh, smart cities. We have also passed the second generation of smart cities, the technology-enabled but city-led smart cities. And we are now reaching the third generation of, of smart cities, the smart city that embraces uh, citizen co-creation. We love, uh, em, uh, we embrace citizen co-creation as a global program. We uh, um, impl are implementing this uh, program on behalf of the Federal Ministry for the Environment, Natural Conservation, and Nuclear uh, Safety, and in cooperation with the Federal Ministry of the Interior, Building, and Community. And we work in the intersection of urban development, climate change adaptation, and digital transformation. Uh, this is our team. Our uh, project director is Carmen Vogt. And we have one team in Germany. Uh, Michael, Olivia, uh, Ingrid, Sandra, Teresa, and Lara are working in Germany. Then we have a team in Mexico, Arturo and Stephanie. Another team in Peru uh, with Herman, Hartmut, and Volkmar. And another team in India with Chavas and Vaishali. Um, in order to implement our project well, we gave ourselves uh, uh, strategic principles. For example, foster citizen participation and open innovation, uh, prioritize open source, and make a responsible use of data. These strategic principles are based, are inspired by the principles for digital development that GIZ endorsed last year. Um, everybody's talking about citizen co-creation, but what, uh, how does it look like? Uh, what do you need to, in order to set up uh, such a process? This is the process that we develop for our global program. The first part is we select a city along with our partner ministries in each partner country and sign a memorandum of understanding with this municipality. The next step is in a sort of a participative workshop, define a climate challenge. There is a very nice study from ECLE in the University of uh, Stanford, I think, that is also part of the assessment report number five from IPCC. Uh, IPCC. And um, in this workshop, the citizens, uh, along with city officials, define the climate challenge that is more important for them. In case of uh, Peru, for example, it was urban floods because they had seven floods last year because of a Nino. In case of India, for example, it's urban floodings. The rain patterns have already changed so much because of climate change. And uh, in case of Mexico, uh, Gabby already explained it to you. 
the next step is a citizen-centered innovation process. And this is different uh, in each country because it depends on the situation of each, each city. In case of Mexico, it was a design thinking process with a data ton. Uh, in case of Peru, it was a design thinking process uh, uh, combined with a sprint because we did not have much time and a hackathon at the end. And in Indian, we are thinking about, they have a lot of expertise already in the, the ecosystem, the digital ecosystem is uh, well uh, developed. We are thinking about design thinking combined with Scrum and maybe other new uh, methodologies. And the next step is the development of the digital solution, meaning the coding, the hard coding. And then we pilot in a, an area of the city, and at the end, we organize a wrap-up workshop, making recommendations to the city, to the municipalities, what to do with the gathered data, how can we upscale or transfer to other cities, and um, how, how would it possible to include this data into future urban planning for the city, and how to continue with the process if the citizens and the city officials are interested. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> now I would like to take you to a trip to the city of Trujillo in Peru. This is a city in the north of Peru on the uh, coastal side and um, the digital solution that we develop, uh, support, that the municipality of Trujillo developed with, uh, with support of GIZ has three parts. The first part is a weather station with seven sensors because the site, uh, the, the staff of the municipality and of the regional gover government discovered that the hills around the city are like, uh, like a sponge. And if the seven different uh, data of the sensors are, are combined in a very special way, the atmospheric pressure is lower than 800, the temperature is uh, higher than uh, 30, uh, the probability that uh, floods come into the city is almost 80%. So this is an early warning system for the city. The second part is when the, the, the early warning system already said we have a very high probability that the floods come to the, uh, to the city, that citizens can start using an app uh, at the moment only for Android. The app is called Ayudamos. Aiju is the smallest part of the Inca, was the smallest part of the Inca society, meaning the family. And ayudamos sounds in Spanish ears like we are helping. And with this app, they can find, uh, they can find uh, their family members and ask them how they are, if they are okay in case of a flood. And the third part is a dashboard for, muni for the municipality officials when they can map the, the uh, flood in real time. During the last flood, the municipality of Trujillo had to invest three months with a lot of efforts and a lot of people in mapping the, 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 the flood. With this app, they can map it in real time. Um, the digital solution is really the intersection between the citizen needs, they need to know where is my family in case of flood, and the, the needs of the city officials for data, for decision making, for future, uh, future urban planning for the city. Uh, you can also download the, the app uh, from uh, Google Play Store here in Germany, it's open. But um, there is a system of certification via the municipality because they need reliable data in order to use this data to plan future infrastructure for the city. Uh, once you have to downloaded the app, you can see the menu with all functions. And the main function is a family group. I can ask in case of a flood, uh, father, where are you? And father will tell me I am at the market and there is no water here, so no problem. Mother, where are you? I am in the, in the, in the office in, and we already have here water to the knees. So I am going home right now. And this information goes uh, to the municipality so that they can uh, map the, the flood in, in real time. I can also report an incident to the municipality for example, a tree is blocking a street so that the rescue teams uh, cannot come through. 
sent a photo, a georeference photo and, uh, to the municipality. And all citizens can see all uh, reports in their apps, in their mobile phones, but also the municipality in the dashboards. Um, coming back to the citizen-centered innovation process, the uh, citizens of Trujillo told us uh, we have a lot of problems because of floodings. We already know what happened. But they had the knowledge in their heads and we needed the, the, this collective wisdom, this collective knowledge on the table. After the design thinking sprint, they told us, yeah, really what we have in our, in our heads separately is now on the tables in the, in the uh, models that we uh, built with, along with the city officials. And once the collective wisdom is on the table, we can start sharing it and, and, and planning on this base. And this is a photo from our hackathon uh, that we uh, supported in uh, Trujillo. Um, uh, very successful was the cooperation with a social enter enterprise called uh, Laboratoria. Laboratoria is a social enterprise in Lima. They organize computer, computer coding trainings for young women from disadvantaged neighborhoods. We invited the best in class students from Laboratoria to our hackathon and three of the members of the winning team were from Laboratoria. So uh, we are always talking about we need more women in tech. This is a great idea. So uh, supporting uh, young women to go more, go more into tech. So e-skills for girls really work. And another um, important part was the pilot phase. Uh, Julia was talking about we need a law to invest a lot of time to convince the people because it's a new technology they cannot really figure it out and our co colleague uh, Germán Lisa Saburo went to the schools, went to the markets uh, with his laptop and, and, and a, a couple of tablets so that can re they, they could really try the app, use it, try to lose the, 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 uh, the avoid that the, the they uh, had to be afraid about the new technology and so on. And now some uh, lessons learned so far. Uh, I'm sure in the next year we are going to get more. Uh, the first is use the added value that technology can offer. ICT uh, can play a very important role in climate change adaptation, climate change mitigation, and urban, uh, sustainable urban planning by um, aiding the, collecting, uh, the, the collection of community needs and information for decision making, but also uh, improving um, uh, city officials' access 